are back here in High Point, North Carolina. RWA action. Brandon Benefield alongside the great Gerard Bonner. Tonight, our main event, a huge steel cage match for the RWA Heavyweight Championship. I believe it was the great Rod Stewart who said, tonight's the night, and tonight is the night for Psycho Boy Fodder. He has been really looking for this opportunity for the RWA Heavyweight Championship. There have been ref issues, personnel issues, interference issues. Well, could tonight be the night? the opportunity for Psycho Boy Fodder to finally become champion. You're right, GB. That RWA title has been eluding him for the last several months, the better part of this year, actually. And tonight, the cage comes into play. We have Psycho Girl Angelina Love on the outside. You know, she's always, they're kind of, their MO is for her to kind of get involved, help him win matches. Absolutely. Well, tonight with that cage coming into play, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Yeah, that, that's the idea of this cage. You know, Caleb Conley, the, the champion who we'll see in just a few minutes, he has really been plagued by, you know, the interference coming from Angelina Love. And we'll talk about the road for the Psycho Boy to get here, but you've got to think that this style of a match favors the champion as there should be no outside interference. You know, I couldn't help but notice that was uh, our senior official, John Harkey, opening the cage door there, and there's no love lost there between Harkey and Angelina Love and, of course, Psycho Boy Fodder. But uh, he will not be the official inside the cage as we await the entrance of our champion, Caleb Conley. There he is, the RWA heavyweight champion. Caleb Conley is here. And you know, the last time we were together, uh, his best friend, half of the revolt, found himself in a match against uh, Psycho Boy Fodder. And now, all of the people are out of the way. It's time for these two to get it on. That's right, GB. Yeah, last month, one half of the revolt, Zane Riley trying to soften up Fodder a little bit for his partner here, Caleb Conley. And if you recall, let's go back a couple of months. It yeah. was that mixed tag team match with Psycho Boy, uh, Angelina Love. They were taking on Fodder, or they were taking on Caleb Conley and Savannah Evans. Right. So if Psycho Love were to win that matchup, Fodder earned himself oh, a title oh, shot. But wait a second. Wow. Fodder early trying to uh, get the advantage here using that middle rope. And uh, hitting, hitting Conley low there, but of course a cage match, there's no no dis disqualification here, GB. That's right, and for those who are just tuning in who Ooh. have never seen a steel cage match, here's how it goes. Again, no count out, no disqualification. The only ways to win either are pinfall, submission in the cage, or by escaping the cage, going through the door, over the top rope, both feet hitting the floor. And there's classic fodder there, John with the crowd. He's going to go back to work on Caleb Conley, a shot to the ribs right there on Conley. You know, we were sitting here wondering exactly what Fodder might be able to do now that Angelina Love is outside of the ring and can't get inside the cage. But clearly the start of this Ooh. match showed that he found a way, but Caleb Conley is making his way back there with a big clothesline. Huge shoulder tackle, clothesline, back elbow, and now Caleb Conley with the advantage. And a, ooh, how about that inverted atomic drop? Look out, here comes the champ. Oh, what a kick right to the teeth of Fodder. You know, you got to think about this. Caleb Conley has, has had this Fodder issue now for the better part of this year. And he's been looking for all sorts of ways to rid himself of this issue. The steel cage could be the way to do that, but he missed that move there. And a big neck breaker coming from Fodder. And you got to wonder here, what's Fodder's strategy? Is he going to go for the pin? Is he looking to escape the cage? We're not sure yet. Let's see what Fodder does here. Yeah, it is interesting to see. One Ooh. thing for sure, Fodder, you know, as, as personal as this issue has become between Fodder and Conley, it really still for Fodder is all about becoming the Revolution Wrestling Authority heavyweight champion. That's what it's all about for him, and he'll do anything to make that happen. Some elbow shots right to the gut from Conley, but a back elbow from Fodder takes the champ right back down to the canvas. You know, I just thought about something. Angelina Love recently has been firing officials at will. Amazingly, she's not exerted that power here tonight. You're right. I was curious how it would come into play with Harkey on the outside as well as Angelina Love, but they're on opposite sides of the cage right now, so nothing doing there, but now Fodder taking Conley right back down to the mat once again. You know, it's so interesting. I think Conley may have thought that with this steel cage, you keep all of the elements out of the ring to have a one-on-one -on -one match with Fodder. And while that is the case, let's not forget that Fodder is wildly qualified to be in this matchup. 
Absolutely he is. Like I said, earning the chance after winning that mixed tag team match against Conley and Savannah Evans a few months ago. And of course, he's getting another opportunity here. He was unsuccessful the first time he took on Conley. That's oh, right. Oh, wow. Now look at this. You saw Conley going for that pump kick. Now, not only did he catch the top turnbuckle, but his foot also caught that steel cage. It certainly kind of did. jammed his knee a little bit. The cage isn't normally there. And, you know, that, that leg was also compromised when he first went to get in the ring, and uh, Fodder went and kicked the ropes. Absolutely. Now, just choking Conley on that second rope, and there's nothing the ref can do about it. No DQ in this type of match. Which actually favors Fodder. We know Fodder has never met a rule that he doesn't like to break, and the steel cage actually gives him all sorts of carte blanche Ooh. when it comes to that. Fodder face first right into the steel cage. Conley going to send him again one more time. Now going to take him on the tour of the cage the hard way. Absolutely. And he's a third meeting, time. He's meeting every side. Now it's time to hit the last side. Heads up. Man. Four shots, face first, right into the cage. Springboard off the road. What a kick to the teeth from Conley. Caleb Conley right now all over Fodder, and it seems as though every time Fodder thinks he's changing the trajectory of the match, Caleb Conley makes a massive comeback. Now, is he looking to climb out of the cage here? That's a good question. Does he have a, a move from the top rope in mind, or is he trying to escape over the top? You're right, GB. But it looks like it doesn't matter. Fodder's going to catch him. No, but maybe a back kick there from Conley to Fodder. Up and over goes Conley. Into the ropes goes Fodder. Look out now. Oh, looking for a... Oh. Maybe Conley might have been looking for a Hurricane Rana there, but he got caught into a powerbomb. Pin attempt here. Could that be enough? Oh, man. Almost a new champion Ooh. crowd. And maybe it's a good moment right now that Harkey's not in the ring, considering how upset Fodder is at that count. No kidding. No kidding. And now Fodder... John with the crowd once again. This is a championship match, Fodder. You gotta stay on your opponent here. Absolutely. Now is the last time to worry about the fans. You've got a steel cage and all sorts of opportunity in front of you, which could be the last chance for you to become champion. You do not want to miss this moment. A ton of strength on that whip there into the corner. Just turned Conley inside out. Now Fodder back up. Again, stay on him. If you want to win this championship, stay on him. Absolutely. Fodder doing what has brought him here, which again is breaking the rules, but technically it's not breaking the rules since there are no rules at this particular point. Yeah, this match is right up his alley. Able to do whatever he wants at this point. And so far, like we talked about the cage, keeping Angelina Love out of the equation right now. It's so funny, I was literally thinking we've not seen any interference from her, which means the cage Ooh. is doing its job. And a drop kick right to the back of Conley, face first into that cage. And I also wonder if this cage is actually boosting the confidence of Fodder. Because while it keeps Angelina Love out, it allows him to legally break all of the rules and not be stopped. He can choke his opponent as much as he wants, but right now that doesn't Ooh. matter because there's a big block and it seems as though things are turning around in favor of the champion. Now Kali perhaps looking for a back suplex. Oh, and he plants Fodder right in the center of the ring. But again, what's he gonna do here? Go for a pin or go for an escape? I was gonna say, it's so interesting. We've not seen very many pinfall attempts so far in this match. They've been few and far between as these two guys are really Ooh. trying. Wow, what a chop. Oh man, the heavy handed knife edge chop there of Kali, but now Fodder with a big scoop slam center of the ring. And I thought for a second Fodder might have been heading toward the ropes, but instead oh, for a pin. Oh! Two. We almost had a and new champ. And now he hooks the leg. There yeah, you go. Hook of both legs, but still just a two count. As Conley trying to fire back up here. But Fodder going to go for a lateral press again. And that time, not even a one count. Not even. And you can see, uh-oh. Conley saying, bring it on. Conley turning beat red. He's fired up with a big left hand from the southpaw right to the gut of Fodder. And I'm sure right now going through the mind of the champion is, if I can get past Fodder, he's in my rear view mirror. One and done. This will finally be over. But Fodder says, not so. I'm not leaving without a championship tonight. Now you bring up a good point, GB. After this chase seemingly going most of this year, this is kind of do or die for Fodder at this point. Absolutely. He's got to get it done. You know, Fodder, this is not his first opportunity at this championship, but it could very well be his last if he can't get it done tonight. Yeah. Look out. Now, Fodder's got to be careful there. There's the door. You don't want to inadvertently throw your opponent out of the door. Absolutely, because that will count just as much as an escape and turn out to be a win for the champion. Classic series of moves here from Fodder. We've seen him do this plenty of times. You saw right before the moves, he said it was he was doing it for Angelina Love. And look at this, she's oh. got to lick him oh. through the cage. Oh. Fodder's favorite part of the match. It is. It seems to empower him, much like Popeye eating his spinach. He's just 
gotten the uh, lick of love, dare I say. And this crowd firmly behind Conley, but Conley in a bad, bad way, and there's a leg drop right across the throat of the champ. Yeah, you've got to wonder, does every move become that much more powerful after experiencing the lick of love from Angelina Love? And of course, now they're married, so it, it's even wilder, the power, and maybe now Fodder could be looking to escape the cage. Yeah, Fodder kind of surprising here. Instead of going for the pin, you know, he tried to pin Conley earlier, and nothing doing there as Conley kept kicking out. Well, I don't blame him for trying to get out because a win in this case is a win by any means necessary, and this would be just, oh, wow. Well, wait a second. Conley now up to the rope like a cat, and now back elbows trying to knock Fodder out. Look at this, side rush and leg sweep from the top rope. Are you kidding me? That's massive. Absolutely massive. Both. But this is, this is what the champion had to do to avoid the challenger from reaching the outside and becoming champion. And both men hit so hard, crashing into the canvas. What a collision there. And these people are absolutely loving what they see. It's not every day you see a cage match for the RWA Heavyweight Championship, but that is exactly where this battle has escalated to, and it gets resolved here tonight. Both competitors, so much taken out of them at this point. Can't even get off their knees, but they're still slugging it out in the center of the ring. They certainly are, and there's not much for the ref to do except to count the one, two, three. And at this rate, these guys could literally hashtag fight forever. Right hands from Fodder, left hands from Conley, back and forth. A block from Conley, another left hand, another block from Conley, another left hand from Conley. Conley reached back for that one, and look at this. Ooh, wow, Ooh, what a backhand from the champ. Looking for another, oh! Blue Thunder Bomb, Blue Thunder Bomb to retain the title. Will it be enough? Count of two. Now, I don't want to say a whole lot, but it felt like that ref almost took his time getting to that count, and that could hopefully, well, that could come back to haunt Conley if Conley's not careful. You see the frustration on Conley's face right now. I think he agrees, GB. I think, wait a second, oh, now Fodder no. pulling our official into the way. Now the official is down. Oh, no. Inadvertent collision there between Conley and the official now a rake to the eyes and, from Fodder to Conley. And perhaps what's unique here is there is a second referee outside. So if we need a referee to, inter to come in and intervene, we have one out there that could do that if this referee is unable to, to get himself together. Oh, oh, oh. Mitch, you know and here driver. we go. Wait, there's a this? count. One, no, two. But now wait. wait he should be retaining the title right now he certainly should and the second referee is not attempting to go in the ring Kali clearly frustrated here wow with one official down the other official on the outside Meanwhile, now wait a second here comes the psycho stick and again the referee on the outside of the ring harky had done nothing about this again no dq i mean what what can he do really oh, oh. my goodness lights out for caleb conley this could be a wrap but there's no referee to count. Fodder just cleaned the oh, clock no. of the champ, and now Fodder's gonna go down like this. We're gonna have but a new it, champ here, GB. You don't think. One. You don't think. Two. This new champion. Yeah. Oh, no. no. Are you kidding me? Right at the last second. Angelina Love cannot believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. Once you get hit by the psycho stick, that's usually a wrap. I thought that was all she wrote. And now look at the disgusted look on Fodder's face. He thought he had it in the bag. And now he's got to deep, dig deep into his bag to figure out where do we go from here. Fodder now. Going to get Conley up on the shoulders. Fireman's carry, but Conley escapes. Shot to the midsection. Conley. Conley looking look for that. a brain buster. Oh, oh, oh. That's going to do it. He's going to retain the title here. Absolutely. Nobody kicks out of the brain buster. Can he make the cover? Or no, or, wait. Maybe he's crawling for the door. He is calling for the door. This is the first time we've seen the door come into play here in this match. Conley looking to escape here to retain his title. And it could be a brilliant move here by the champion. But oh. Fodder is not down long enough. And Fodder. now... Fodder's now here we go, Conley could be the oh, no, 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 Angelina Love pushing Harkey out of the way and slamming that cage door right in the face of Caleb Conley. And again, nobody can stop him. But here's the question. Will, will Fodder go for the pin or will Fodder choose to Look escape at this. the cage? Look at this. Angelina Love's going to pull him out of the cage. And if that happens, we're going to have a new champion. No way. Both no way. To touch the floor. Say it ain't so. It, it, it is. It's so. Fodder is the new RWA heavyweight champion. He did it. I don't believe it. In 12 minutes, 6 seconds,
give a huge assist to the Psycho Girl Angelina Love, helping her man, Psycho Boy Fodder, win the RWA Heavyweight Championship. This is proof that standing by your man really does count. All of the chase is worth it. We've got a new RWA champion, and his name is Psycho Boy Fodder. The reign of Psycho Love starts tonight here in RWA.